Hi, my name is Skylar and I do gymnastics. And today I'm going to be showing you my team's tricks and skills. I've been doing gymnastics for eight years and I plan to do many more. You will also see all four events of gymnastics. My favorite event is bars. I hope you enjoy watching my team and I doing our skills. The first event I'm showing is floor where I'm doing a double backflip. These are really fun to do, especially off the springboard. The next skill is Jaden's double pike. This is with straight legs. We do them off the springboard so that when we get to the floor, it can eventually look like this. The next event I'm showing you is the vault. This is Brooke doing a skill called a Yurchenko layout. Sometimes you can even do a twist. This is what we like to call the platform side where we do drills before we do the skills. Here's Brooke again doing a super cool twist vault. The next event I'm showing you is Beam, where Eloise is performing a flight. A flight is where you connect two or three skills in a row. This is my favorite skill on Beam. It's called a front aerial to scale. The ending is so fun. This is my flight where I connect three skills in a row. It's super fun, but super challenging. We also get to do fun turns. Did you know that the balance beam is only four inches wide? This was Eloise's fun trick of the day. It was all about control and strength. Look how cool it is. We're calling this a handstand with a split. She's so strong and can hold a handstand for so long. This is a new flight that I'm working on. We do it on the floor before we get to the beam. The last event I'm showing you guys is bars, where Brooke is doing her amazing ray. This is called a release, where you let go and catch the bar again. On bars, we wear grips, and today I'm going to show you how we put them on. The first thing we do is we put athletic tape on our wrists. This is to make sure that we don't get any cuts from our grips rubbing against them. It's really important. The next thing we do is we put on wristbands. These wristbands give a good cushion for our grips to sit on. They lie under our grips and you put them right over your tape. They can also help your grips to stay in place so they don't slide around. Finally, we put on our grips. These make sure that your hands are protected when you're holding onto the bar and they make sure that you don't slip off of the bar. The first thing you do is you put your fingers in the holes. Then there's two buckles. You tightly secure the first buckle by putting it in the hole that fits your wrist and then you secure the top buckle. You repeat this on both grips. Grips are definitely the most important part on bars. I don't know how I could swing on the bar without them. Another very important step on bars is we use chalk. This makes sure that we don't slip off the bars. It's the same chalk they use on chalkboards. First, you squirt water on your grips. Then, you take the big scratcher and scratch them and make them really rough so that you can't slip off the bar. Then, you take the chalk, rub it on your grips, and this is the most important part. It makes sure that your grips stay rough and that you stay on the bar. This is Eloise doing a skill called a Tkachev. It's another release move, and it's really cool. These release moves take a really long time to master. Here's my Takachev. We also do something called strap bar, where you wear special gloves and go on a metal bar. This is to practice before you go to the actual bar. Here's Kalia doing a set of toe handstands. This is so that she can set up for a skill when she goes to the actual bar. It's really fun to just swing around. Thanks for watching. I hope you had a fun time watching my team do some fun tricks and skills.